Indian cooking has some of the most diverse flavours in the world. It's a dynamic cuisine that offers a huge amount. Andy Haler, the only person to have eaten in every three-star Michelin restaurant in the world, is here to tell you his top five restaurants in India. Sit back and enjoy this culinary adventure. My first choice, I'm going to Bangalore, or Bengaluru as it's known now, and to a restaurant called Jamavar within the Leela Palace Hotel. The dining room is particularly attractive, looks out over beautiful gardens, and the dishes come from all over India. One example is a lovely prawn dish, which has been marinated with curry leaves and all kinds of spices, um, and then finished in the tandoor. Um, and this is a particularly good dish, but I've tried many dishes here, and the standard is very high. So if you're in Bangalore, then do head to the Jamavar. So the second on my list is Dakshin in Mumbai. This is in the ITC Sheraton Hotel and covers the cooking of the southern states of India, such as Andhra Pradesh. Now, there are all kinds of dishes from these different regions, but one I particularly enjoyed was a pom frit dish where the fish had been marinated and then um, prepared with spices and then fried. And the cooking was incredibly accurate and the spices were very vibrant and well balanced. Um, this is a lovely restaurant and if you're ever in Mumbai, you could do a lot worse than go to uh, Dakshin. Our video will continue in a few seconds, but before we move on, have you ever tasted reindeer heart? Do you know where to find the best sushi in the world? Or which three-star Michelin restaurant lets you listen to your food? Foodies TV offers you the best videos about the best restaurants around the world. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enjoy watching the rest of our videos. For my third choice, we head to Calcutta to a restaurant called Peshwari. Now Peshwari is actually a sort of mini chain within the ITC Sheraton Group um, and it covers the food of the Northwest Frontier. So we're talking big hearty Punjabi dishes here. Um, lots of spices, um, you eat with your hands, it's a very rustic kind of affair. And great dishes here include an excellent chicken tikka and a particularly nice cauliflower florette dish. Um, so if you're ever in Calcutta, I would definitely recommend that you go to Peshwari. For my penultimate choice, we head to Hyderabad, to a restaurant called Adar in the Falak Numa Palace. And this has got a spectacular setting overlooking the city of Hyderabad. And the city itself is, within India, arguably the home to biryani. So this is definitely something you should try here. The biryani, whether it's chicken or lamb or vegetarian, is beautifully made the rice light and fluffy and fragrant and although there are many many other dishes here that are excellent if you come to Adal do try the biryani. My final choice we head to Delhi the capital of India and to a little area called Friends Colony to a restaurant called Indian Accent. Now this is an unusual restaurant and it has a modern take on Indian food so you get somewhat different dishes here for example, a little cornet of duck and foie gras with spices which you wouldn't see in a typical restaurant in India. The standard is incredibly high throughout and uh, for me this represents really the future of Indian cooking. Um, so really highly recommend Indian Accent. It's my favourite restaurant in the whole country. That's the five best restaurants in India. Great culinary insight from the man himself, Andy Haler. Have your own favourites in India? Let us know by commenting below. This video is over, but we have loads of other great videos for you to watch. Discover the best dishes, the best desserts and the best chefs in the world. Explore amazing food in cities like London, Rome, Paris, New York, Delhi and many others. Subscribe to the Foodies channel and continue to enjoy our videos.